sneaking us back in now today. Today we have Zorin OS 6.3 Core. Core, blimey. Yes, Core. Now, as you know, Zorin is really, really focused on Windows users and bringing them over to Linux. So it tries its best to look more familiar to them. So you can see you've got the little icon down here for your start menu. It looks more familiar. This one's supposed to be looking like Windows 7. I'll show you look changer in a minute. Now, remember, it is based on the, the Buntu. Okay, the Buntu. Yes, of course. With its own bits and bobs and stuff like that. You know, you know what I'm saying. Especially the look and themes, okay? RAM usage is well down, and this one runs an awful lot better than the 6.2 I had last time. I wasn't too impressed with it, although on newer machines it was good. This one, on the other hand, is better on the whole. It's just better. That's all I can say. It is so it's fun. And that's all fact the last couple of Buntu upgrades have been better, should we say, for everybody. So something's gone down to the core there, isn't it? Core, blimey, as they say. And as you know, Zorin is based in Ireland, in Dublin. Boys from the black stuff, as you know. I don't think they're boys anymore. I think they're grown up men now. But hey. anyway, I'll give you a quick look around and go from there. There's been minor upgrades. Obviously, if you've got version 6.1 or 6.2, you can upgrade. Yeah, you can upgrade. You don't have to reinstall. Mind you, I just like doing the reinstallation because it's nice and fresh, baby. Fresh. Oh, yeah. So anyway, on this screen, we have computer. Home trash is installed. By the way, it's not a live CD. <clears throat> and we have the Zorin menu. So we click on the Zorin menu. See how much more snappy it is than it was before. Get accessories, games, graphics, internet, office, sound and video system, tools, universal, <laughs> and wine, and software, so and places. Okay, and over here, we have home folder, documents, pictures, music, videos, recent items, computer, network, and tech, do universal access, system, settings, and help, baby. Okay, so, accessories, we've got archive manager, the usual, calculator, take a screenshot, terminal, that's all right, and text editor. And the games, right, okay. You don't get many games. This is the small one. If you want the full lovely jubbly one, it's a bit larger. They want 10 euros. If you don't want to do it yourself, pay the 10 euros. Get the ISO. It's up to you, mate. And it helps them do their stuff. So all you get is the usual gnome games, really. Oh, they are. Yeah. Okay, under graphics. Have I installed anything here? I, don't, I might have installed Gimpy. I can't remember. I don't think I did, actually. Uh, no. But you get a document viewer. Well, it's a PDF viewer to you and me. Gimpage. An image viewer. <clears throat> Shotwell Photo Manager. Dun, 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 dun. Lovely. Hello, I'm Shotwell. Okay, we'll show that again when I use it. Everyone. Shotwell does what it says on the tin. If you want to do anything better and stupid other stuff, use Gimpage, okay? Okay, anyway, back where was I? Oh, yes. Internet. Right. You get desktop sharing, but that comes with Mint, doesn't it? Remember? Yeah. Empathy for your instant messaging. I ain't got no big deal with that. Google Chrome as your default web browser. Yes. Gwibber. Ramina for remote desktop control. Chunderbird. And of course, the Zorin Web Browser Manager. Now, will it work this time? I'm going to give it a go, okay? I'll put my password in. Because it wants it. Because it wants it. Now, as you can see, we've got Google Chrome here. So, do we want another one? Let's see if it'll work this time, okay? So, we're going to install. Let me do it. Do we sure? Yes, we'll give it a go. Update and package archive. We'll see if it actually installs. Now, last time I did this, it just didn't want to know. But when I went to the software center, it actually worked. So, you know, something was on the go there. Right, download and install it. Let's see what goes down, baby. Goes down, baby. Goes down, baby. So, yeah, it's, it's just an update on 6.3, really. In my opinion. Well, there's perhaps lots of other bits and stuff going down under the hood that I'm not too concerned about. The things I am really concerned about is it actually works better. Right, the web browser manager works perfectly this time, so I'm, I'm impressed already. So we click OK. He's gone, baby. We go down here. There's some updates it wants us to do. Uh, no, I'm not going to do them at the moment. I'll tell you why. On my Zubuntu 12.04 LTS version, every time I do a kernel header file upgrade, etc., etc., or the, do the generic kernel, the NVIDIA driver goes bristicles up basically so I'm not going to do that just yet okay? we're going to leave that for the time being so goodbye I'll come back to that a little bit later so I'll go back to internet let me click on here and we should have Midori and I'll click on Midori and in theory of theories oh that's good that just means I need to go to here okay that yeah, always happens with Midori so don't worry about it Open that nice and wide. There you go. Midori is working nice and fine. Super duper. Shall I go to the Bebeka? Well, I could do, couldn't I? Yeah. You know what? I might as well go to the BBC. What up? If I can spell today. Oh, I don't know. There we go. BBC. We click on him. Go to the official site. That's the BBC today at this moment at 3.13pm in the afternoon. Works good for me. Okay. Actually, that looks really good for Midori. 
non per il video, mi scusate, ma ce l'è, raga. Anyway, so the browser will, I think, okay? Okay. Right, under Office, we have the full LibreOffice suite. Shall I open that for you? Might as well. I'll open up LibreOffice Writer. There we go. Five, 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 two. I've actually opened it before, so it's always first. Close the first time. We wait a bit longer, wait a bit longer, wait a bit longer. And bajum. LibreOffice Writer is here in EFX. Oh, yeah. Okay, next. I don't, do sound and video. Did I put anything in here? You know what? I can't remember. I don't think I did, actually. But you do get Brazero, Cheese, Movie Player, Open Shot as standard. Remember, you will need Blender if you want to do the uh, 3D video titles and stuff like that, okay? Rhythm Box, Sound Recorder, and VLC. It plays almost anything, as you know. Right, System Tools. Let's have a little look. Administration, of course, and Preferences. I'm not going to go into too much of that because if you're a new band user or a Debian user, you'll know what it means. A log file viewer, power statistics for your laptop, system monitor. Right, it's still using quite a bit of CPU, but not too much. It's a lot better than last time, so I'm not too worried about it, okay? No, but it's a lot less, put it that way. And the RAM usage is down as well. Anyway, what was that? System tools, remember? Right, we'll get system settings as well, so I'll quickly tell you there. Yeah, might as well. We'll take you there. See, it's all the same, you know what it looks like. It's super duper. That's what it says on Latin. Bonjour. Okay. Menu again. Okay, this time back to system tools one more time. I'm going to look at the Zorin look changer. Now, you used to have more looks in this, but now we only get Windows 7, Windows XP, or GNOME 2. There's probably a way of getting around that so you can have more of the other ones, which was, was a Mac OS X look, and I'm sure it's a Windows 2000 look. So if I go to the GNOME 2 look, okay, I don't know, we'll go to the Windows XP look, okay? It does its stuff. Wait a couple of seconds. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, looks good to me. And that's like supposed to be an XP look. Yeah. If you think it is, you think it is, okay? Don't know much difference to me, just a few different minor changes, really. But hey, if that's what you want, that's what you want. See the menu changes and everything. Yeah, I know you mean, man. Twist my mail and get all the applications. I mean, the menu's supposed to look a bit more like Windows XP, can you see? Yeah, it does a bit, I suppose, not too much, okay. Anyway. You get universal access, so you've got onboard screen, keyboard, and an orca screen reader. Wine is a standard. Remember, most Windows games will work on Linux if you really try hard enough. But if you're trying to run the latest games like War Thunder and stuff like that, you will need a decent graphics card and a decent CPU and a woofter amount of memory. Okay? I'm just telling you that, just in case you didn't know. And we'll quickly go to the software center. I also had problems with this last time. This time, I don't have no problems at all either. But it eventually comes up on my bleeding screen. Okay, to be sure. Anyway, I'll wait a bit longer, wait a bit longer, wait a bit longer. And there's our software center. Right, this works perfectly. I've got no problem with it at all. So we just click on LEDs. LED resistance kept up by these components. Super duper, nice. Installs for free. I'm not going to do it. It does work. And it tells you it's installed when it's installed, which is always good for me. Anyway, that's enough as I want to show you today about the Zorin OS 6.3 Core. Blimey. Yes. I'm really liking it. It's not release candidate. It's out now for you to download. You can go and download it. Have a good time with Zorin. And if you took, you've got a machine a couple of years old and you've thought, I'm fed out of bleeding windows, give me something that looks similar, that works fast, super duper, give Zorin a try. Remember, it's over 1.4 gigabytes to download. So, you know, be aware of that unless you've got a really super duper fast connection like myself. Anyway, 96% this time around. It's a vast improvement. Lovely, jubbly, sneaky. Linux, gang out. See you later. Bye bye.